afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, Holly, I see you. What's going you see on? that? Hey, how you? You like my hat? Yeah, you representing Christmas. You know, I got Christmas. that Kwanzaa going on over here. You know what happened? Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Deputy's Corner. Deputies Corner is a show where we showcase deputies from across the domain. And sometimes it might not just be deputies. It actually might end up just being noble, one of you guys or daughters, okay? We got one mission in life, and that's to make y'all want to come back every month and see our beautiful faces, me. Yeah, you know, she was talking about beautiful. She was talking about me, you know, uh, noble Chase Rankin, a.k.a. Big, out of Palestine, Temple Number 18, Desert of Alabama, Oasis of Mobile, South South, stand up. And I am daughter Alejandra Phillip, past commanders, Magnus Court number 100, Oasis of Alexandria, Desert of Virginia. All right. Look, how you been doing? You know, you been all right today? I've been good. How you been? You looking I've been all right? I've been oh, all you right. Got, you look like you smart, but we know. You yeah, know. you know what it is. You know how smart I am? Today's show is sponsored to you guys by the Dines Program. So the Dimes program is going to be having a mentoring activities. Uh, Dimes and Sam's, I apologize. Uh, they're going to be having a mentoring program, and they're going to have an actual Zoom on January 28th, okay? The topics that are going to be discussed um, are going to be primarily surrounded around mentoring. I want to make sure you guys are going to be there. I'm definitely going to be there, and hopefully we'll have a whole good time. I think I'm going I'm to log in for that, too. That looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah. Look. If your temple, your court, your oasis, your desert, your department, wherever you want to call it, is having an event that you want to showcase on any of our show, go ahead and send an email to pr at A-E-A-O-N-M-S dot org. Look, I'm going to make a song out of that. <laughs> Look here. Guess who? Guess, 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 guess what? What's wrong with you? Why are you I had to a little bit because I got lost. Today, we got two sponsors. Guess who our second sponsor is? The Prince Hall Shriners Foundation is going to be the book bag program. The book bag program is literally asking everyone that if you guys can, go ahead and give them a $5 donation. You see that QR code on the screen? You'll be able to go ahead and go in there. It's just $5. I know you spend more than $5 just going to the grocery store. And today... This show is live. Like you see, I've got the interruptions and the mess ups. This is a live show. I mess up a whole lot, like you are. Oh, it happens. It's a live show, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That's to our Prince Hall Shriners page on Facebook as well as YouTube. And if you ain't on it, you might want to go ahead and get on that app because it just go on all day. Just make sure you mute it. Lord, they be talking. So on today's show, we have two guests. We're gonna learn about them. They won't be no feds and no college, just straight conversation. So the first guest is the deputy for the desert. She is daughter Deborah Cruz Bellamy, past commandress out of Leaf Court number 90, Oasis of Greensboro, Desert of North Carolina. Yes. Good afternoon, everybody. Good, good afternoon. Up. She came here with a yes. You well, like she has some energy. <laughs> so that kind of energy you got, I know that our other guest is going to have it. We have the deputy of the desert, honorary past imperial potentate. That's going to be Rodney J. Johnson. He is out of Kinder, Temple Number Sixty Two, Oasis of Fayetteville, Desert of North Carolina. Jay, come on in here. Why are you in the dark? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey! I just told you I'm dark skinned. <laughs> How you doing today, Jay? I'm, I'm doing good. How about yourselves? All right, you got a problem with me calling you Jay? I have no, as long as you ain't got no problem with me calling you Biggs. Oh, no, this is all day. So, all right, Jay, uh, I want to go ahead and ask you, what do you do for a living? And, like, what do you do in your spare time? Let the people know. Uh, I am a uh, co-owner of an outpatient mental health facilities, and I have group homes for autistic kids and adults. So, I deal with people with mental health issues, substance abuse issues. I am actually a substance abuse counselor. And uh, my wife is a licensed clinical social worker. So we work hand and foot and we handle people like uh, your co-hosts that when they have, you know, breakdowns, I handle them. Hold on, hold on. Tell me why you got to talk about me. I thought we were cool. <laughs> we always good. We always good. But I'm just bringing a little juice to the to the joint, you know? I understand. But I understand. that's what I do all day. I, I had I had I handle I handle uh critical issues, 
substance abuse issues. And of course I have, uh, like I said, I got group homes for uh, autistic kids and adults. Okay. Okay. That's what I do oh, all so day, every day. You know, but I feel some type of way because I, I ain't got no breakdown. I ain't break down. I don't know what you're talking about. But look, <laughs> uh, so everybody that's looking at us, go ahead and drop your temple course, everything in the chat pane before I talk to uh, our next deputy. Put it in there so we can showcase y'all and shout us out. So, uh, Deputy Bellamy, yeah. do, you mind, do you mind if I call you Deborah? Not at all. Not at all, baby. Oh, you fling that here, girl. I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> okay. Um, Deborah, same question. Can you go ahead and tell yes. us a little bit about yourself, what you do for a living, what you do for fun? Oh, I got a long list. Okay. Well, I have, I'm a flight attendant for the largest airline that we have for 38 years, matter of fact. Never thought I'd be there that long, but I've been there 38 years. I'm enjoying it. I travel the world. I've seen a lot of things, been a lot of places. I love water sports. Water for, I have waterfront property outside of Greensboro. I love swimming, jet skiing, anything in the water. I love it. I love outdoors, period. I love my animals. See, I have my cat right here. That's me. All natural. All right. All right. Uh, Jay, prior to becoming deputy of the desert, uh, you were actually the advisor of the desert. Uh, how did that, if it did, prepare you for your current role as deputy of the desert? Well, it, it just gave me a broader, you know, before then I was the uh, before then, I was the potentate of Kendall Temple for two years, which is uh, which gave me a lot, a lot of practice. But when I became the advisor, our past deputy, uh, William Cook, just opened my eyes to how a, a desert should be ran. He did an outstanding job, outstanding job. And he was a great mentor. He just taught me from top to bottom, reports, uh, everything, gala days, anything, anything to do with with the desert, he 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 opened his he opened his books up to me, so I was ready for it. Awesome, Deborah. Uh, first, I want to yeah. know: Can I get a buddy pass? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah. Can I get a pass? See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, Deborah, you sat as a deputy yeah. for the Oasis for an extensive time period. How long were you in that role, and how did it prepare you for the deputy for the desert? Oh, um, wow. Well, it's a great question. Yes, I was the deputy of the Oasis for a good 15 years Ooh. of Paley Court, number 90, 15 years. Yeah, but I enjoyed every bit of it. My mother was past commander of Paley Court, number 90. My father was past potentate of Paley Temple, number 144, and also he's a deputy of the Oasis. Um, they have now since passed, but I have served under... Presently, I think maybe seven deputies for the desert of North Carolina. And it's been wonderful and challenging. And I've learned everything from those deputies. Okay. That's, that's amazing. I think we have reached my favorite part of the show. I don't know about y'all's. It is the rep your set portion, okay? So your temple name, your court name, your sister, baby, daddy, brother-in-law, cousin <laughs> name, drop it down in the chat pane. We'll give them a shout out and let's go to the rep your set. <laughs> Ooh. We got Tony Carter, Chief Ray Ban of Kinder Temple Number 62, or he's the Fayetteville, Desert, North Carolina. What happened, Carter? We have daughter JC. She's out of Medjai, court number 38, Oasis of Fort Worth, Desert of Texas. We got Noble Vic Jones out of Kendall Temple number 62, Fayetteville, North Carolina. I see y'all. Y'all heavy today. We have Obelisk, Temple number 187, out of Okinawa, Japan, Far East. Far uh, East in the house. We got past commanders, Leela McKissick, and Imperial Depth at Oasis, Alex Court number 36. You have a good set of time, really, ain't you? Um, 
We have the first two set of commanders out of Abdallah Court, number 166. Oasis of Cowboys, that's in North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, that was what you said. Daughter Bellamy, can I come yes, to Yes, please do. Okay, Deborah. Uh, everybody that we asked about you uh, okay. started with, you know, she's an Aggie. And she's red for some called BGM. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, but for those that don't know what it is, what is an Aggie? And would you mind explaining? An Aggie? Oh, my God. How much time you have, baby? We got we, we, we Aggie born. Little- Aggie born, Aggie bred, be an Aggie to the day I'm dead. Okay. Yes. Yeah, both parents were Aggies. North Carolina, as, as I will say, it's North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University out of Greensboro, North Carolina. And yes, although I'm from Greensboro, I stayed on campus, you know, when I went to A&T and I majored, matter of fact, in agriculture because I want to be a, a veterinarian. But I'm like, okay, I love my science. I love math. You know, okay, so but I said, let me walk across the state and just give me my BS and, and move on. My Aggie, we say an Aggie pride, the bulldog, we fight hard, we, we stomp in. When I went to AT, I was, I was a marching, I was a majorette at AT for four years, and I love that as well. But Aggies, we are HBCU University. Okay, okay. And we give back. We are very known for agriculture and engineering. And we're still building on that process. And the engineering department is one of the best, I will say. And I wish I had majored in engineering, but okay. But mm, agriculture is, is good for me, though. But like I say, nothing good, nothing better than that. Aggie and Aggie Pride, Aggie Pride. Okay, okay. So look, she said ain't nothing better than an Aggie pride, Aggie, Aggie, all y'all Aggies out there. <laughs> so, um, so Jay, so I'm going to tell you this. First, I want to let you know that my deputy, not my, yes, deputy, my director, got the jump on you on this podcast that I hear the desert of North Carolina is doing. You want to tell us about this podcast that y'all doing? Right, I mean, y'all right. I am R, but, but go ahead. Oh, he yeah, well, well, what we have done was mimic you guys. Am I froze? You no. back? Come on with it. Am I froze? No, you good now. What we've done, what we've done, we've mimicked you guys. So I always say, if the big cats do it, why can't the little cats do it? So we just doing the same thing you doing, but we. I've always wanted to know, you know, why, what, and where throughout the desert of North Carolina. You can't be everywhere at all times. So I, I, I created a podcast committee to go to these different balls, to these different events, and actually get with the people of the community. Get with the people of the community, the ones that's supporting us, the ones that's giving us their money, and just talk about the temples and the courts in their community. That's what I got this podcast for. I just want to see what they what these, what, what these temples and courts are doing all over the desert of North Carolina, and to show everybody else why we are the biggest and the best and the baddest of this domain. I, I, I hear you talking now. You sound you sound like you know a little something. Uh, let me ask you a question, yes, Daughter Bellamy. Yes, sir. As a flight attendant, uh, does your career make it difficult for you to be able to spend time and really enjoy your family? Um, no. Matter of fact, my family always wanted to go with me. <laughs> I said, they said, where are you going, um, Deborah? I'm like, I'm going to, okay, well, Hawaii, can I go? But, mm-hmm. but still, you know, I have no family. My sister's is in Maryland. But um, no, it has not hindered me at all. I have rest time. I have my phone with me. Even when I was going to um, Brazil, my mother was going through dementia. I had to make sure I could FaceTime her so she can see me and I, we can talk, blah, blah, blah. But um, no, it's been... I would say challenging, but and also rewarding. That's good. That's good. Well, first, Jay, you talking about doing a podcast? Let me tell you something. You need to make sure your internet is good before you try to do a podcast. Right. Because uh, mm-hmm. your, your internet was kind of shaky. Listen, you know? <laughs> listen I, I, 
<laughs> hey, look, you, you I'm not the one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, is he still there? Jay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he can't do no I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you back, Jay? Yeah. I, I, look, he ain't gonna be the one doing the podcast. But since you're trying to come back in um with your with your internet because you in the suburbs, so you say. Um, so the members of the desert there you, say there that you go. Are, are you back? Can you hear me now? I'm back. Okay, so look, the members I of can... your desert say that you're very inclusive and you always request input from your desert when making decisions. Is this a concept that is working for you? And where did you get it from? Well, it's 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 all about uh it's not an I thing, it's a we thing. We have to run this desert. We have to, and I've always been a big supporter of the fact that I don't pay none of them to come and hear me bark and talk and uh, of course I'm I'm I try to be as humble as I possibly can and I know you give me the desert, you give the desert money, you give the Imperial Council money. I just need your input. I want your input. I want to know what's going to make this thing run smooth because you can't just have an engine, a lot of people to make that train move. And that's the same thing with it. Take a lot. You, you got that moving, shaky man. internet, but I'm sorry. So, Jay, look, look. <laughs> Don't talk to your, to your desert via the internet. No internet calls for you, okay? Whatever you're going to do, send them a letter. <laughs> send, them, send them an email. <laughs> Look, it's time for my favorite part of the show. That is the Rip Your Set Potion. Okay? Go ahead and put your temple name, your court name. You can put your large name or your chapter name down in the chat pane, and we'll give you a shout out. Let's go with the Rip. <laughs> Oh, number 201, Lexington, North Carolina. What's happening? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got a deputy of the Oasis of K Leaf Temple, number 144, out of Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, Smoke, I see you. We got daughter Chanel Hunter. That's just the manager of number 180, Oasis of Lexington, North Carolina. I ain't even gonna take the name, bro. What's going on? We have the recorder from Toro Temple number nine, uh, Oasis from El Paso, Texas, Texas. All right, we got Dr. Keisha Johnson, Lusher's Commanders of Shadi Court, number 212, Oasis of Plymouth, President North Carolina. We have the Oasis of Plymouth, once again, President North Carolina. We got Khalid Court number 90, Oasis of Greensboro, Desert of North Carolina. What's happening? Oh, Desert of North Carolina coming deep. Okay. Yeah. We got Armin Rock Court number 225, Oasis of North Carolina, Desert of Pennsylvania. Ooh, Khalid Court number 90. I see that being true. I just want to feel that. Hey, Oasis of Greensboro. We don't know who you are, but what's up? We got daughter Burrell, Zafa number 41, honorary class and peer potentate Joseph Burrell, Zafa number 176. Hear him in the house. North Carolina. We got Arabic court number 21, away to Chicago, desert of Illinois. We got Sean Shawanda Clark, away to Riverdale, desert of Detroit. Hey there. We got Nubia court number 190, away to Queen, desert of Texas. Oh, we got Ramsey Court number 78. Charlotte, North Carolina in the house. How you doing, daughter Wood? We got Cairo Temple number 125. Oasis of Columbia, Columbia, Desert of South Carolina. Well, he happy in his people. We got Noble Harris out of Ramsey number 51. Charlotte, North Carolina. How y'all doing? We got Kabah, I hope I said it right. Sorry if I didn't. Simple number 89, Oasis of Conway Desert of South Carolina. Oh, we got Ask Manners O'Neill again out of Oasis Desert. Yep. 
We got Kendall Temple, 62, always the favorite as the North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, that was what gets set. Jay, talk to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you see in the near future for the desert of North Carolina? Uh, I see great things. I I see uh, recognition. I see us showing showing the domain why we are the largest and the best in the domain. I see us moving. We had some great leaders in the past, you know, and I'm standing on their shoulders and trying to keep things going like I did, like they did, you know. I just see great things in North Carolina. We have we have some great, great leaders, a diverse group of people, not just from North Carolina, but all from all over everywhere. And we're just putting all our ideas together. We're listening to each other, and we're making things happen. Awesome. Uh, Deborah, the same question. Where, yeah, do you see, where do you see the desert of North Carolina in the near future? I see some movers and shakers, Talk movers and shakers, <laughs> movers and shakers. In the past year, I would say this was um, 2007. We had the Imperial session in Charlotte, North Carolina. At that time, Charlotte wasn't ready for us, but they're ready for us now. So I see us really having the Imperial session again in the North Carolina. Hopefully it'll be in Charlotte, one of our 18 desert or cities that we have in North Carolina. Are you talking Again, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's 18 of us down here. But I see us with the three R's reset, restart, and refocus on everything we're doing. Come through with the three R's. Best you? Can you come through with a buddy pass once again? <laughs> right, because you know, this show ain't <laughs> free. Baby. The, question the first time. <laughs> this show ain't free, baby. You need something. <laughs> Jay, uh, you know, little Birdie yes, told sir. me that you a big fan of the casino scene, and you might be pretty love good it. at it. <laughs> yes, sir. How true is it, man? And, and, and just I love them. On I I love them, and I can't tell you what I want because then you might work for them folks. But I I, I love them. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to one next week. My birthday is December. <laughs> My birthday. My organizer birthday is on the same day, December 13th. I'll be at one then. I'll be up in D.C. or in Cherokee or Mississippi, one of them three places. Mm-hmm. Haven't decided What's your favorite? yet, but I love it. My favorite, I go to Vegas three times a year, so it, it, it's Vegas got to be my spot. Okay. I try to make it at least two or three times a year. Okay. Let me borrow a dollar. You okay, Deborah. So earlier you said that your that both of your parents was in the organization, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So my question to Lord, I'm sorry, y'all. My my kids acting up in the back. I don't know if y'all can hear that. <laughs> but uh, my question to you, Deborah, w- did your parents like mold you and give you that drive that you have now to be to be the deputy for the desert? Like, were they a, a huge impact on you? I would say they did as well as members of my own court. I was going to Imperial Sessions before I was a daughter because <laughs> my father and parents were in the order. I was going, I'm not quite sure if you remember when I had a session in Las Vegas. I was there, Philadelphia and D.C. before I was even a daughter. But they did mold me, being a, starting from the outside spy all the way up to elections commanders, not once, but twice. My mother, she molded me, and at that time, one time, I was commanded as my father. He was the noble advisor, so I knew not to mix nobles' information correctly in with the daughters. I had to more so stay in my lane and let our advisor give remarks as well as that. Sometimes we have to know what's right and what's wrong, but they did mold me in my early years, and still, I would say some of the past deputies in North Carolina, even not only in North Carolina, but other deserts as well. Okay. Uh, Jay, they, they say you from somewhere up in that little, you know, northeast corner. Somewhere oh, oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, oh, don't do that. Oh, oh. They say you from, uh, you know, it's the south oh, down. I think it's New Jersey. Uh, they say, yes, sir. And you're a big fan of the New York Jets, you know. Born and raised. 
what 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 made you be such a big fan of them? I know that they play in style. So what what is it? Well, let me tell you this. I used to when my I have a big family. My mom my mom have uh, nineteen brothers and sisters, and they all lived in Newark, New Jersey. Well, half of them lived in Newark, New Jersey, and we used to go to the Meadowlands a lot. And back then, the the Jets used to practice in the Meadowlands a lot and that's the first team i seen when i was a young kid my, my uncles and my dad would take me there and i would see them practicing and i would always want to be that get that be part of that green that green and really? white my, that room this room i'm in now i wish i could show it it's green really? and white you want to be a part of them and not the giants you are no, you, no, I I, 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 i'm from north new jersey not from north no, I'm, from, I'm from north new jersey it's all about you know, the we, we our own little culture down there we got all the culture down there. I'm gonna let that slide, Jay. Um, Deborah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. As deputy for the desert, what long experience <laughs> do you think you made on the desert of North Carolina? What was the first part of it? From your I time, didn't... for your time as deputy for the desert, mm -hmm. what long <laughs> impact do you think you have made on the desert of North Carolina? The other impact I've made with the desert of North Carolina. I'm trying to mold them what we are supposed to be, finer women, um, having a past history of being a daughter for a time and the deputy for time, years. The impact I want to leave with them as far as still understanding the, the rules and regulations that entitles you to be finer women. Sometimes we come in organizations not necessarily knowing what it is, but they join for the wrong reasons. They join to put things on their cars, emblems on their cars. When you get in, I'm like, okay, that's not really what I want, and then jump out. But I want them to understand you're in here to learn, to mow, and to be better women. Because women, you're a woman first, then you're a daughter in other houses. But stay focused on what you're doing and understand the rules and regulations what entitles you to be a daughter. Okay. So y'all have so many words of wisdom. Y'all are just so strong minded. <laughs> I, I want to go back to the foolishness. We back to my favorite part of the show. The so rep your set. Go ahead and put your name down in the chat page. Go ahead and put your cousin, brother-in-law that took that $5 from you down there too. Put them Make down sure you there. We back. And call them out right now. Let's go to the rep yourself. We got Ernestine Basmore out of North Carolina, Shadeen Court number 212. How you doing, Pastor Man? We have uh, the Oasis of Juliet. I hope I said that right. Desert of Illinois. I got past Ponte Reed, by the way, to Melbourne, Florida. This is Florida, Osiris, number 67. That was all backwards. <laughs> Sinai Court, number 35, Oasis of Cincinnati, Desert of Ohio. We got Vernon out of Aladdin, Temple, number 111, Oasis of Roanoke, Desert of the Queen. <laughs> Kendall Court, number 43. Hey, classmate. We got Plymouth, Oasis of Plymouth, Desert of North Carolina. Hakin, Temple number 55, Oasis of Leesburg, Desert of Florida. Florida in here now, where Alabama at? They sleep. We got Legends of Al Hamid, Court number 12, Oasis of Desert of Florida. We have Luxor Temple number 202, the Oasis of Albuquerque, desert of New Mexico. Okay, New Mexico. All right, we got Allison Bryan. She just said, she's definitely for the desert. Okay, from South Carolina. What's that now, Allison? Oh, look who we got. We got Honor and Pastor Imperial Potentate, Jerron L. Avery. Imperial Oriental Guide, Menzel, Menzel Temple, Lord, number 35, Oasis of Rock Hill, Desert of South Carolina. What happened, Jamal? We got Kabbalah Court, number 67. How do we do it? Hey, hey, hey. 
teleport number 76 away to Nashville, Desert of Tennessee, KIC. Hey. Hey. We got a mid. I'm at court number 134. Boys, the Tallahassee, end of the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my fifth set. Ooh, that was a lot. I feel all energized. <laughs> so I know you feel energized, Deborah. So yeah. what, what would you like to say to the audience, the audience as your final words for the day? What you want to leave them with? My final words is respect and love yourself. When you love yourself, you love others. And if you're in this organization, do your best you can. Do your best. All right, Deborah. Oh, that was cute. That was it right there. See you later, Deborah. Hi, Deputy. Oh, it's me hey. too? Okay. Jay, listen, I know, I know you finna leave us with some of these good, strong words of wisdom. You coming out the gate pinching. Go ahead and leave us with your final thoughts. Let us know. My, my final thoughts are the same as a deputy. Love yourself. But I do want the, I want the domain to know that the heartbeat of the domain is here. There's a North Carolina. We coming. Watch, watch your back. And like I say to everybody, breathe, because we coming in the door. When we come in the door, breathe. The heartbeat is back, baby. I did it. I did it. Okay. with a slogan, boy. He's showing up. Hold on. Let me tell you. I don't know how they the heart of the desert when his internet kind of jacked up, but okay. You know, somebody. You see the headphones, did you? Man, did you see them headphones? Them yeah, people are yeah. huge, man. You can it's hear it, there, right? My lizard. But they were pretty. They were pretty all right now. Yeah, I enjoyed them. I did. That wasn't bad. Uh, once again, today's sponsors. We got the Sam's program and the Dimes program. Want to remind you on January twenty eighth is going to be on Zoom. You'll be able to find that Zoom link on the Prince Hall Shriners page. Make sure you go ahead and get in there. You might need to learn something. I'm telling you, and it's for the children. You know, come on. We also got. I'm cutting it off. The book bag uh, fundraiser. Now listen, the book bag student aid program is asking that you guys donate $5. There's a QR code right there. We're going to leave it here for five seconds just so you can get a picture of it. Take a picture of that QR code. Go on ahead and drop them $5. It's for a good cause. We need you. We appreciate you. Okay. So once again, if you have an event or you just want to spotlight your deputy, matter of fact, anybody that you want to spotlight, you go ahead and send all that information to PR at AEAONMS.org. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for waking up this morning and jumping on this show this afternoon to see our beautiful faces, mostly me. Um, but on behalf of my family, me and my family, I want to wish you all a very happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, great holidays, all that good stuff, whatever you celebrate. But until then, we're going to see you guys next year. And listen, I, you know, I be playing all the time. And I, I just want to seriously say that you got to really, they, they hit some spotlights. You really got to love your people. You know what I'm saying? As family, friends, as everybody across the board, you want to really love people. Even the ones you don't even like, okay? We're going to see y'all later. Have a good time. Really, I'll, uh, really though. Right. I think we...